Listen, I've heard like in the last two weeks, two different people have said to me, don't you tell me I'm a melancholic. So I just want to ask you, why is it not safe to be who you were born to be? You know, temperament is such an amazing, amazing walk through our lives and, and, and what we, how we show up and sort of what we came here with. And, and it's every bit of it is, it's attached to your soul. I firmly believe that it is attached to your soul. It sort of doesn't sit on the top like a personality survey or anything like that. It's, it's attached to who you are, who your maker made you. So why would you deny that? Why would you deny what your maker gave you? And it goes for not just the melancholic um, temperament, it goes for all the temperaments. Why would you deny what has been divinely gifted to you, that it belongs to your soul? There are so many things to love about every temperament. And yes, it's refining, my goodness. So I'm pretty heavy choleric, choleric with um, a good dose of sanguine. And I've had a major amount of refining to do in my life. It's still refining. I'm 47 years old, 47 years old. <laughs> and I'm still refining every day. Every day I get up and I ask, how can I develop more empathy? How can I not be quick to judge? How can I um, control my blood pressure because that's so much of it is tied to your temperament. Your health um, struggles and conditions are so tied to your temperament and, and sort of how you react to things and how you show up. So I, those are things I ask myself every day. So if you are standing in the space of not wanting to own your temperament, I'm going to first shake my finger and say shame on you. And second, I'm going to ask you why. Why can you not dive into what is so amazing about you? Don't wish you were somebody else. Don't walk around thinking you're somebody else. Completely and utterly love you. And love what you've been given. And use what you've been given. What tends to happen when we don't accept the temperament we have and we're trying to push it off or pretend that it doesn't belong to us. What tends to happen is then you can't fully embrace the awesome that is your temperament. So in order to fully embrace it, you have to step out of what you think it is. You have to step into a space of, oh, well, maybe, maybe I'm thinking about this all wrong. Maybe I should just embrace what's in front of me. Because truly, if you can do that, you can move mountains. You can be the person that the people in your life need you to be. You can truly and utterly just love you. And that's what I want for you. I want you to love yourself. Every bit of it. Every ounce. Every ounce. Because when you do and you can accept who you are, then you can refine who you are. You can refine that space. You can say, okay, well, there's some things that I don't love the way I feel when I do this, or I don't love the way I act when I'm triggered by this, or any of those things. Pick, Just pick something. Pick something. I'm sure you can think about something before I'm done talking. Um, and, and ask yourself, what can I do to be better at that? If you are like resisting being melancholic because you think that, oh my gosh, they're so dramatic. Well, you know what? Again, shame on you. There are also some of the most beautiful people on the planet. There are so many things to love about every temperament. Do not for a moment think that you have to be one way or another. First, dive into who you really are and, and really and truly embrace it and love it. And, and yeah, you're going to have faults. All of us have faults. All of us. And guess what? There are, the faults are the same. I mean, they're, they're, they're as egregious for the choleric and the phlegmatic and the sanguine as they are for the melancholic. It just is looked at differently. So, you know, if you want to look at the, the ugly sides of all the temperaments, yeah, you might have the melancholic that is, um, you know, self-centered more and forward, like look, not looking forward instead, just always looking in the past. 
And you might have a choleric that yells a lot and has to dominate everything. You might have a phlegmatic who's like overly lazy. And you might have a sanguine that can't keep their feet on the ground for anything. So, all right, if that's you, that's you. Own it. Because you won't truly become the person that you want to be until you own who you are. So own it. What, what weight can be lifted off of you because you can own it? So own that space, love that space and ask yourself, how can I refine today? How can I take what I've been given and take the way I'm showing up and refine it to be the best parts of me? How can I show up in the best way possible? How can I show those around me the best parts? When you do that, then it won't matter what temperament you are. You'll find yourself balancing your own temperament. You'll find yourself comfortable with other temperaments. You'll find yourself more aware of other people. You'll find yourself truly accepting, not just yourself, but those people in your life that you've been struggling with. So I hope you have a good weekend. Love and blessings to you all.